Hey, Mexican rattlesnakes, a live feeding with some incredible knockdown power coming up. Subscribe now. Fangs in your face. Hey, and before we get started, a big thank you to Andrew Veslovsky, Sean Black, thanks, Sean. Hey, Wally Tucker, and Dan McCarty, thank you, bro. Hey, shirts are out. The, the Yucatan Rattlesnake shirts, the Zobcons, and they came out pretty damn nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I popped them up on Instagram, but they're out and they're available, so grab them up while they last. We're already working on another shirt. Our new logo thanks to big spanky out of out of the the southwest he hooked us up tight i mean where do you guys see the new logo you might have seen it on instagram but it's getting tweaked a little bit for the t-shirts and it's going to be really cool i mean it's like razor sharp <laughs> it's really neat but um thank you big spanky today guys is all about mexican rattlesnakes so hang in there we're gonna have some fun today what's up venom squad hey guys Today, we're going to hit on the Mexican rattlesnakes. And if you guys know me, I've got an addiction to Mexican rattlesnakes. <laughs> I love my big Mexican rattlesnakes. But today, we've got a live feeding. We're going to feed some of, some of Maximus's little babies. <laughs> but uh, with the Mexican rattlesnakes, there is so much going on with the venom right now. And they're discovering more and more new stuff. I mean, all the time. And... I just read some interesting articles about the basiliscus, and I said, you know what, I'm going to run my trial on this myself. <laughs> I want to see how quick the little ones are going to knock something down. But, um, so we're going to feed three of our babies from last season, and they're, they're pretty big already, you know, they're, they're babies compared to Maximus anyways, but, you know, we've got a bunch of Mexican rattlesnakes, and we've got the, the basiliscus, we've got the, the Yucatan rattlesnakes, you know, um, the culminatus, the, the, we love the culminators. We just got done breeding them. I've actually got one in the can. I got to put them back. I just got done cleaning them. And I, I'll tell you though, the venom, what they're discovering in some of these rattlesnakes is the babies are actually carrying a higher percentage of what we call crotoxin. It's got a metal of protease and it's got some traces of neurotoxins, which a lot of your Central and South American rattlesnakes do, but it's hemorrhagic. It's, it, it's really something different, and it changes as they grow. So the adults have a different composition than the babies. And everybody's wondering, well, you know, you, you've all heard that. Well, the, the little ones are more venomous than the big ones. You got to watch. And in some cases, that's true. It's, and it, it sounds silly, but it's true. The actual composition of the venom is changing. They're going through the antigenic change as they grow. And I seriously believe it's because the baby rattlesnakes, they're feeding on different prey items. They may be feeding on like reptilian fare, little lizards and different things, different kind of field mice. And as they get bigger, their venom is evolving and changing to knock down a different type of prey item. So they may become more hemorrhagic and they may become more neurotoxic. The metal of proteins may be changing, but in the babies, it seems like they have a quicker knockdown. I mean, it's, it, it's amazing. But we're going to feed some of the little basiliscus. And the basiliscus are known to be one of the rattlesnakes that have this metal of proteins that helps do this job. <laughs> so, and I'll tell you, now for years, we've all thought, you know, basiliscus, okay, you can use crofab, but I, I mean, in case of bite, but I'm telling you, they're a lot hotter than we originally thought and a lot of people will argue the point i just read a cool article by brian brian just put out a new one too of uh, dr brian fry and he's the venom guy i mean nobody's better than brian um he's been doing a study that it's specifically on the baby culminatus and also molasses and just your mexican rattlesnake neonates with babies having a a, a different composition of venom what's neat is like he's discovered that you know, the most frequently used Mexican antivenom, which is, you know, Biaclon, it's, uh, it's antiviparin. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's antivip. It, it failed to neutralize the damn procoagulant in neonate culminatus. 
and the babies are pushing that pro coagulant out hotter than the big ones it's interesting stuff guys but um you know the damn baby culminatus you know they're they're hotter than the big ones and the antivenom isn't stopping it it's not working the antiviparin is not neutralizing that pro coagulant you know and in addition to that you know this this snake you know the culminatus and the zobcons you know this is a species that's sought after big time here in in the states with the hobbyists with with, with rattlesnake guys and you know everybody loves these things and, and i'll tell you bites from from captive culminatus individuals that ain't got the proper antivenom given the wrong stuff and and that's that's going to be it it's going to be end game and the private reptile keeping sector yeah i mean if they don't have the right antivenom and you know a say now oh we're going to give you antiviparin it'll work it's a mexican antivenom no it's not going to work if you get bit by neonate you know you got to have the correct antivenom you know you got to have sorrel the stuff that's made literally by clodomero picado it's made to neutralize all that stuff guys you got to have the right antivenoms you know and like the zopcons you know which, which we have oodles of <laughs> i mean that, that's an animal that we breed for the labs and i mean that's it's one of my favorite rattlesnakes we all have seen their knockdown power with some of the live feedings and it's known to be one of the most venomous rattlesnakes in the world i mean the composition of that venom is just crazy and a lot of people are going to argue the point and say well the neotropicals the actual durissus may be hotter in some areas and then everybody throws up the mojave rattlesnake and the mojave rattlesnake is a hot son of a bitch but let me tell you zobcons i think beat them out <laughs> you know what i mean and the culminatus you know the Crotus culminatus, and I mean, people believe that maybe the females are a little bit hotter than the males because they don't get quite as big. So there's so much we need to learn about them. But I tell you what, 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 what I love about the culminatus is that the females are a different color. They're they're always a little bit more. They got like a metal hue to them. <laughs> they look like they're chrome. <laughs> but uh, but the males are usually a little bit brighter. But the females are really, they're really cool. But um, I'm going to take this big male out. And we're going to put him back in his cage. I just got done cleaning his cage. And this is the breeder. This is the guy that just got done breeding too. Well, I'm going to put this male back in his cage real quick. Before we get to the live feedings. We're going to feed three of our whole back of the baby basiliscus. And... It's going to be live, so if you guys are squeamish, you ain't going to want to watch this one. <laughs> but uh, but I got a feeling that they're going to be knocking things down pretty quick. But let's... Oh, there's my boy. This, this is just a beautiful damn rattlesnake. And the culminatus, I'll tell you, this one, he's, he's one of our bigger males, and we've got six of these things. But this one is kind of chill, but the other ones are just ballistic. For some reason, the damn culminatus are just vicious. <laughs> but this one, he's a pretty good boy. He's he's actually kind of docile. He's, he, he's not as mean as the other ones. But isn't he just fantastic? I mean, look at the color on that rattlesnake. That thing is beautiful. Well, we're going to put him back in his home and get right at the feeding, y'all. We're going to get to the fangs in your face. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the uh, Crowless Basiliscus. This is one of Maximus's little baby girls. See how quickly she can dispatch this mouse. This is a rather large mouse. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, man, these little Basiliscus are just freaking brutal. They are just ferocious little snakes. Wow. Wow, she is already, like, got that thing paralyzed. I mean, that was seconds. Oh, my goodness. These things are just, they are just ferocious. <laughs> and the 
Tell you honestly, I'm surprised she hung on. I thought she would bite that thing and release it, but nah, she's she knows what she's doing. She held on to it. She knew that it wouldn't take long. Wow, that was a very fast dispatch. Oh man, let me see here. Oh yeah, it's dead. Yep, nothing left. Wow, very fast. Prolus basiliscus. The snake's really dull right now, too. It's getting ready to shed its skin. <clears throat> it's getting ready to go into blue. Still feeding, though. These things are just ferocious. And I'll tell you, out of all the all the rattlesnakes that I produce, these these baby basiliscus are just they're firecrackers. They really are. They're they're mean little boogers. I mean this this litter came out massive. I mean the babies were eating like small adult mice a day later. They were born. The next day they were eating small adult mice. I mean they were they were as big as baby bushmasters. <laughs> but uh <clears throat> good genetics. That's that's Maximus's babies are our, our big monster male Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. We call him Maximus because he's huge, <laughs> but uh, it's just good genetics, produces good, good, big, healthy babies. Yeah, no pinkies required for these guys when they're babies, they're eating mice right out of the gate. We're gonna let her swallow that up and feed another one. Okay, it's another one of our holdback basiliscus. This is a little female. Let's see how, okay, she bit it and released it, but I'm seeing immediate envenomation signs. Oh yeah, it's, it's going out quickly. That's, wow. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you, I think these, these basiliscus are a little hotter than we think they are. You know, it could be that these that these little youngsters are actually maybe even carrying a, a a few more hotter proteins in their venom to dispatch prey even quicker than the adults. You know, it's it's already proven that in some rattlesnake species, uh, the youngsters are going through an ontogenic change as they grow. When they're littler, they're actually a little more venomous. They're actually Venom is evolving as they grow to do different things to larger sized prey items. So, you know, along with the zinc metalloprotease and a lot of these Mexican and Central and South American rattlesnakes are containing different crotoxins, which are which are a mixture of neurotoxins and hemotoxins. But uh, the basiliscus just may have that also. I mean, to dispatch a mouse that quickly, that's amazing. I mean, that was seconds. That was seconds. That was very fast. Very humane. She's a pretty little girl right there. She is gorgeous. She looks like her mama. Nice light greenish yellow color on her. And I'll tell you with these with these baby basiliscus, it's gonna they they actually mature. Their colors mature and they get brighter and brighter as they grow. With each shed, they get prettier and prettier. And she's starting to come over here to me. <laughs> No, girl. Get your mouse. <laughs> She's going to try to slide up out of this bend. She's more interested in me than she is that mouse right now. She's thinking, now, how can I reach over there and bite you? Huh. <laughs> and she's a curious little stinker, ain't she? Eat your mouse, little girl. That's Maximus's baby girl. 
<laughs> I've got one more to feed. I've got a, a male hole back I'm going to feed also. But uh, we're just testing Basilisca's knockdown power today. So I'm going to close this one up and let her eat, and we're going to feed another one. Okay, I got one more Basilisca. We're going to run our little test on here today. This is a little male, a little speckled male. I can get a mouse here. All right. Let's see how quickly he. Oh, okay. He's hanging on too. Wow. Just utterly amazing. What an efficient little predator. Jesus. I'll tell you, um, these little curlless basiliscus are running a close race with the baby Zobcons when it comes to dispatching something, like, immediately. I mean, that mouse is, is dispatched. It's gone. Look. Not. That's it. It's over. Wow. About proves it these these little baby basiliscus they probably are going through that that same thing that uh that a lot of rattlesnakes are going through when they're when they're younger they're actually they're actually carrying a, a little bit of a different toxin that dispatches prey quicker so and as they grow they're actually their venom is changing in components are are modifying into a different type of venom to work on a different type of prey maybe you know when they're smaller they're probably feeding on field mice and things like that when they get bigger they're probably eating prairie dogs or who knows you know or different squirrels and just different prey items so maybe that's why the venom evolves so they can dispatch different kinds of prey at different stages in their life so pretty interesting but uh they are little destroyers there's no doubt about it This snake's getting ready to shed, too. He's all dolled up also. These things grow so fast, they stay in constant shed. Well, we're going to back out and let this guy enjoy his prize there. Jesus. That was... <laughs> that was fast. Man, whew, I'll tell you. Them little son of bitches got some knockdown power. And that, I mean, it doesn't prove anything, but I'm going to tell you something. Um, with all the new information out there on them, on neonate Mexican rattlesnakes, and the X factor of venom with them little ones, and what it's doing, and all the new stuff they're finding, I mean, they knock stuff down quick. They're actually more venomous. I mean, so, and and you know what? And Viperin don't work on them. So, if you if you're getting viperin and you think you're safe with your Mexican rattlesnakes, you you better reconsider. <laughs> so, but anyways, hey guys, I hope you learned a little something and you enjoyed this video. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that V logo thing and subscribe now, and come on back and check us out at Venom Central. This is Willie. We're checking out later. <laughs>